Good afternoon, and thank you all of you who are participating today. This is our workshop on navigating uh, city contracting opportunities that's being hosted uh, by Council Member Marquise Harris Dawson and the City of LA Contractor Development and Bonding Program. So we are happy that you're here. We were very excited to see the level of interest um, in today's event, in addition to uh, other convenings that we've had, because it means a few things. One, it means you're all out there. Your businesses are, are sustaining or uh, still operating. Uh, two, it means that you're looking to invest in the growth and opportunities for your business going forward, particularly as we move into the recovery period uh, post COVID. And three, you understand the power of information. Follow up with Meriwether. We have the resources, we have the information, and we are here to share it with you. Um, but all of this can only be made possible through uh, an, a commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion, which starts from the, the highest levels of the city. I think, you know, one of the most important things is as history catches up, to where everybody on this call is, that we have the businesses and the organizations that are ready to seize the moment uh, and seize the moment and capitalize on the moment and uh, create the opportunities that I think are just waiting there for us. And frankly, the opportunities that our people create for themselves. You know, I wanna make sure I thank, uh, again, the city and all of the big institutions involved in it, obviously LAWA, the Board of Public Works, uh, the Port, uh, the Department of, of, of Water and Power, uh, uh, the Business and Job Resource Center. Uh, also happy to be joined by Mary Weather and Williams, uh, uh, a, a great uh, firm that's helping us move this work forward. Lastly, I would leave you with this because I want to leave, make sure there's enough time for the people who are actually experts uh, to talk and the folks who need help to, to ask questions. Uh, none of us, I don't want any of us to ever think of this as a handout or a giveaway or a special opportunity. This is just good business and a matter of justice and ethics. Nothing more, nothing less, straight up. It makes sense to do business with the people that are in your region and the people that represent the people in your region. And uh, just like in generations past, uh, when you know sexism and apartheid were completely legal in the United States, uh, I'm sure any, everybody on this call is heard of a city called Huntington Park or a place called Huntington Beach or they've been on Huntington Drive. Huntington was a person that got rich because the government paid him to build railroads. Same thing with Leland Stanford, who a school is named after. And so now's our time. Now's our time as the U.S. grows. The US, the, our government, which is us, needs to pay us to help build out the society, to create the things that we need in order for this society to realize its full potential. And I fully expect uh, that some of the people on this call will be part of businesses that will later name cities and roads and airports after uh, because of the contribution you've been able to make because uh, it was fa facilitated by uh, public engagement of your work and uh, the public sector creating the opportunity for you uh, to contribute and, and to do your best work. So uh, with that, I wanna turn it back over to the chair of the meeting and thank everybody profusely for being here and uh, just say, don't hesitate to call on us uh, should you need help moving the ball on this very, very important issue. All right, well, thank you again. Thank you to our city sponsors and host uh, for your presentations and to our participants. Thank you for giving us a couple of hours almost of your day to day. And uh, we wish you uh, health and prosperity. Everyone have a good evening. <laughs>